Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about the upgrade to Mountain Lion and Mountain Lion Server. And so Apple has announced its new operating system. It's come out today and so it's time to uh, upgrade. And so I'm willing to do that to show you what that looks like and to walk you through the process. Now before you upgrade, there's a couple of uh, different things that you need to do just to make sure that everything is okay for you to do the update and everything works, works okay. First thing you want to determine is whether or not your computer is eligible for the Mountain Lion upgrade. And so if you go over to Apple's site uh, for OS X, it gives you the specs on what you need to upgrade. And it talks about the different things you need with memory and RAM and all that stuff. But over here, it also talks about the different models that are supported. And so if your machine is within these models, you're in good shape and you can upgrade to a Mountain Lion server. Now, if you're not sure which model you've got you just come up to the Apple and you go about this Mac and it brings up information about your computer and if you click more information it will also bring up a little bit more detail for you and tell you what type of uh, computer you've got that you can then use to compare to this chart right here now the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the applications on your computer that you use are compatible and so there's a website called Roaring Apps that you can go to and it's done research on different applications to see if they are okay for Mountain Lion or not so for instance here's one password uh, it says that its Lion status was okay and its Mountain Lion status is okay <clears throat> if it gives a question mark it hasn't been tested and X says hey major problems can't make it happen and the exclamation point just says hey it's been tested and there's some problems and you can go to the websites to check out more information so you might want to do that just to check to make sure that your applications are okay so that you don't have any problems with the upgrade yourself that uh, you can uh, make it happen and not have to worry about it the other thing that you're going to want to check is to make sure it, that uh, you don't have any applications that run PowerPC and so when you're on, when you're on that uh, on the area here that says uh, about this Mac, you click System Report. You come down to Applications, and what'll happen is it'll load all of your applications, and then you can see whether it's a PowerPC application or not. Some of you may have some legacy software that you're running that uh, you need the power P the ability to run these PowerPC apps, but uh, the Mountain Lion does not support that anymore. And so you can see here's all my applications. Just sort by kind scroll down through Intel all of that and you can see down here it says I have a few PowerPC applications none of these things are going to work on Mountain Lion and so you want to check that to make sure there's nothing critical there that if you don't have access to those things you're going to be in trouble alright so once you've uh, once you've checked all of those things out you know you're in good shape uh, then there's one more thing that you're gonna wanna do uh, as you get started and that is you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a backup of your main hard drive so if anything goes wrong you can revert back to it and so let me show you how to do that with a program called SuperDuper okay before you do uh, a backup of your internal hard drive you're gonna wanna check uh, to see that your software is up is up, up to date or not because Apple will have issued uh, updates to the software to prepare it for Mountain Lion so you wanna come up to the Apple up here and you wanna go uh, software update now I've already run it and here's what it came up with and it shows that I do have software that needs to be updated so I wanna make sure that these things are up to date and you can see with some of these things it just talks about uh, different compatibility updates uh, iWork has information on updates for Mountain Lion here the same with Aperture and so I just want to make sure all of these things are up to date before I upgrade to Mountain Lion. So I'm going to say install these four items and what's going to happen now is it's going to go and install these things and bring my computer up to date so that I know I'm ready to install Mountain Lion. So I'm going to let those things run. I'll come back in a little bit uh, once it's over and then we'll do our backup of our, of our core hard drive. Okay, so now my software is up to date. I'm ready to go. So I can get rid of software update. I don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead now and back up our hard drive. And I'm going to do that with a program called SuperDuper. Now, SuperDuper allows you to make a bootable clone of your main hard drive. And the reason I'm going to do this is so that if anything goes wrong with the installation of Mountain Lion, I can revert back to exactly where I was before uh, just by recloning this drive back to my main hard drive. And so if you've got an external hard drive around, you're going to want to make this kind of copy just in case something goes wrong with your Mountain Lion install. So I've already got a schedule that I usually use. I've got a uh, I've got it set up. But normally how this works, you put pick the drive that you want to copy 
which in my case would be the server hard drive. You pick the drive you want to copy it to, uh, which in this case I have a server, server boot backup. Uh, when you do the backup, you want to, um, I know I've got backup all files on there. You can also look at the various options to do this. Uh, usually what you want to do is a smart update uh, of, of, your, of this drive from that drive uh, so that what will happen is is it'll only update the parts that are not the same when it checks it all right so that's how you want to set that up to make sure that it's a smart update on here I've got something scheduled I'm gonna click copy now and it's going to set it up to automatically run and it'll run in five six seconds and it'll start the process here once it does that it's gonna go and start to do the backup it's going to take a little while for that process to finish and copying those files, so I'm going to let it run. And when it's done, then we'll start the download of Mountain Lion from the App Store. Okay, now that we have updated all of our software, we've checked our hardware, we've actually created a bootable backup of our current setup so that if anything goes wrong, we can revert back to that using SuperDuper. Now it's time to actually do the upgrade to Mountain Lion. And for those of you that have server, Mountain Lion server. And so to do that, you go onto the App Store and you want to download Mountain Lion. Now, as I said before, I've already downloaded it. That's why it says download here. It'll say $19.99 for you right here. Uh, so you buy it. You'll have to give your Apple ID and start to download it. Now, since I've already purchased it, it shows up in my purchases area over here. Uh, but understand that the download size uh, and time is going to take you a little while. So if I, if I actually start the download here and it starts the process, let me put in my password. And it starts the process. You can see 4.3 gigabyte to tell me about 30 minutes or so. Somewhere in that zone is probably just about right. And so um, I'm just going to pause this right now because I don't need to do that. But you can see it's about 434 gigabytes. So it's going to take you a little bit of time to do that. Now, once you have downloaded Mountain Lion, let me just pop this down. Once you have downloaded Mountain Lion, what will happen is, is it will automatically show this screen. It's going to download it, put it in your applications folder, and you're going to see this right here. Now, what I want you to do is not go and install Mountain Lion right away because one of the things that's a good idea to do is to keep a uh, copy of this backup around so that you've got a bootable backup that you can use later uh, to do your own install. You can put it on a, a CD, a USB drive or just keep it on your system that you can use later. Uh, especially if you're going to use Lion Server you might want to use NetBoot so it's good to have a copy of Mountain Lion around so that you can use NetBoot from that. So what you want to do is come into your applications folder, find this area where it says install Mountain Lion uh, you want to control click on it and show package contents. Once you've done that, you go to the contents area here and find this install ESD DMG file right here. This is the one that you, you're going to want to copy uh, this because this will be your uh, disk image that you can use to create your bootable, uh, your USB boot stick. And so you can see here it's got the same size, it's got all the contents in there. So what you want to do is you can option or what you can do is you can uh, you can right click and just say copy if you want to do that and then find a location to put it. Uh, you might want to just uh, put it somewhere where you've got uh, more uh, all of your other things. I'm just going to move it over to uh, my Drobo over here and I've got one from before but what I'm going to do is stick it in um, let's say oh, I'll, just, I'll just put it right in one of these folders here and I'm going to paste the item right there so it's going to go now and it's going to copy it over. And you can see my little copies going here. And once it's done doing that copy, then I've at least got this uh, item here. And the reason we're doing this is because once you install Mountain Lion, it removes from your applications folder. If we go back here, it actually is going to remove this uh, item here that says, uh, let's see, this item that says install Mountain Lion, it's actually going to remove this from your applications file and then you lose the opportunity to do it or you've got to download it again. So it's just a, a nice way to be able to have that available so that you can create uh, a USB install stick if you want to do that later. I'm not going to show how to do that in this particular tutorial but that's one way you can do it. So once that's done, now we're ready to install Mountain Lion. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you through how to install Mountain Lion from the installer. First thing we're going to do is click the continue button. It's going to bring up the licensing agreement. We just click agree. 
and agree to the terms of that. Then it's going to ask us which hard drive we want to install Mountain Lion on, which in this case we're obviously going to want to do it on our boot drive. And so as we get started here, I'm going to click the uh, the install button, and once I do that, it's going to ask me to authenticate. And so I need to put in my credentials there and say OK, and we're ready to go. Now, I can't walk you all the way through this because uh, it's going to reboot my computer, but when we're done, I'll see you on the other side, and I'll show you how to install Mountain Lion server. Okay, now that we have upgraded uh, to Mountain Lion and everything looks like it went okay, now we've got to do the second part of this upgrade and that is to upgrade the server part uh, of our configuration. So if you go back to the Mac App Store and you go into OS X Server, you can see that it's an additional $20 to add that. So you want to go ahead and, and uh, take care of that. You want to download that application and it's going to ask for your credentials so that you can sign in and it will begin to download the application and once it's downloaded uh, the OS 10 server and gotten that into the system then it will take us to the place where we can begin to install and so I'm gonna let that download that might take just a little bit of time uh, it's only about 140 uh, megabytes uh, so it just depends on your connection but once that's downloaded we'll come back and I'll show you how to set up server Okay, now that we have downloaded the server application, uh, this is what we get uh, the first time, is the uh, setting up your server. And so to install uh, Mountain Lion Server, to get it upgraded, you simply just have to click the Continue button here. Once you've done that, you have to agree to the licensing terms. You say Agree. And just like before, you have to authenticate uh, using your username and password. So we're going to allow that and then it's going to go and it's going to install Lion Server and at the end we'll see what that looks like when we're finished and I'll show you what happens when it's all done. Okay, once it's finished configuring all the services we're presented with this congratulations your new server has been configured successfully. We click the uh, finish button here and now we're launched into the new uh, server application and so as you can see my different services that I've had set up with the green lights are still running they appear to be uh, configured and ready to go the way they were before. And that gives you the idea that we're all set up. You can see that our build is 10, it, our, our uh, system version is 10.8, which is Mountain Lion. And so we are all set and ready to go. And we have now upgraded our server from Lion Server to Mountain Lion Server. So that's all I have for this week. Uh, next time I'll begin to explore some of the changes and things that have taken place with Mountain Lion and Mountain Lion Server. And so if you like this show, as always, uh, give it a thumbs up so other people can find it and be helped by it. And so again, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.